Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little review of the Bubba Electric Filet Knife. I'll be sharing my thoughts about this product, showing you what comes in the box whenever you order one, and at the end of the video, I'll be showing you footage of me cleaning fish with this knife. But before we get into any of that, only a small portion of the viewers that watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing. It's free, you can always change your mind later. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump straight into this product review. This is the Bubba Electric Filet Knife. So before I say anything, I'm in no way promoted or sponsored by Bubba. I just really like this product and I wanna share it with you guys. Typically before this, we use the Piranha Filet Knives and I like those a lot, but we just decided to go ahead and upgrade and try out this knife instead. So depending on which version you get, the corded or the cordless, they'll run you anywhere from $100 to $200. So they're a little bit more on the expensive side, but in my opinion, whenever you get a filet knife like this, you get what you pay for. Also, I've linked both the cordless and the corded version of this filet knife down in the description below. So if you wanna check one out, there's two links down in the description where you can do just that. So let's go ahead and hop in the box and see what comes inside. So upon opening the box, obviously you get the body itself of the filet knife. Now, of course we have the quartered version, but if you get a cordless version, you'll have just this part right here. And I believe it comes with either one or two batteries. But again, this is the quartered version. And uh, so this is the frame itself. So at the very top of the box, you get four different blades. You get the 12 inch E-Stiff blade. You get the nine inch E-Stiff blade, which is the one I like to use for crappie. You get the nine inch E-Flex blade and you get the seven inch E-Flex blade. So the good thing about all these different sizes and flexibilities is that you can use each one of these different styles of blades for different fish. For example, catfish, redfish, crappie. You can use all of these different blades for different applications. And I like that they give you options. Our other filet knife, the Piranha that we use for forever, just had one set of blades and that's what you use for everything. Use it for catfish, use it for crappie, whatever we had, that's the blade we use for it. So I like that you get four different options here. Uh, to choose from whenever you're filleting fish. Another thing I like just about this product in general is the box it comes in has a handle and everything. You can just carry this wherever you want to go. I know most fillet knives have a case. The one we had before, it had like a, a little plastic case, but it's just kind of a hassle to actually bring anywhere with you. This one to me is almost just meant for carrying with you places. Camping trips, weekend trips out at the lake. I mean, you can just take this thing with you and it fits in just fine. So now that I've talked about all these different components separately, I'm gonna talk about filleting fish with this knife. This fillet knife is like cutting through butter with a hot knife. You can just fillet right through fish, no problem. Now maybe the blades on my old fillet knife were just getting dull, but this thing just takes it to a whole new level. I barely even, you know, have to move and it just, it just glides right through the fish I'm cleaning. I'm gonna show you some video of me cleaning fish with this fillet knife. So I hope you guys enjoy that and it'll give you an idea of how easy it is to clean fish with this knife. So there you have it, the Bubba Electric Filet Knife. 
Again, if you want to check out this product, I've left both links down in the description, both the corded and the cordless version. So if you want to give it a look and see if maybe this is a good fit for you, it's down in the description. But this video was really, really short. So if you came for the filet knife review, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you want to stick around because you're a subscriber, which you should be, subscribe down below. I'm going to give you guys some updates on some plans I have for content over the summer and just some updates in general because I haven't really got to talk to you guys much lately on here. First of all, it's just really nice to be able to talk to you guys, give you guys some updates because lately with college and everything, I haven't been able to make very many videos at all and I, it's just been tough to make content. But now that it's summer, I've got a little bit of time to get out and make more videos and this right here what I've got in my hand is gonna be the next video I make and I am super super pumped to show you guys what is inside this box I can't give away any details yet I want to save it for the video I'm making but just know what's in this box is really really freaking cool the next thing I want to talk to you guys is about the boat you guys haven't seen anything else about the boat just because a I just recently got back home from college and I haven't been able to film, but B, I've reached kind of a snag with this whole project and that is registering the trailer. Texas recently changed the requirements to register your trailers. So I haven't been able to do that yet, which is a pretty integral part to owning a boat is making sure that everything's registered and you know, legal. So I haven't been able to take this thing anywhere yet, partly because of that, but hopefully I can get that figured out here pretty soon. And also the boat itself is just relatively unfinished. This needs carpet. I need to go and clean out the floor. I need to add the seats back up to the front. And I've just got a lot of stuff that I still have left to do with this. And I know I said I'd save it for a future boat project video to tell you guys my plans, but I, I couldn't wait because it's just gonna be a little bit before I can film that. I'm thinking about adding a live well here in the front. I don't really know if that's what I'm gonna do yet for sure, but I'm thinking I'm gonna build some kind of mount right down there in the middle to put a live well so I can actually hold fish in it while I'm out in the water. I might also add a subfloor in the back. I, I don't really know, but uh, those are just some ideas I have for this project. If you guys have any ideas that you want me to do to this boat, please, please let me know because I'm just kind of doing this thing off the cuff. I don't really know what I want with this boat or what I want to do to it. So now that I've talked about that, I want to talk to you guys about some future videos that I have planned. These aren't really set in stone yet, but I do want to give you guys an idea of what you can expect to see in the coming weeks on the channel. I've been thinking recently about doing an air mattress fishing challenge V2. Now that it's starting to warm up, it isn't as dangerous to go out in the middle of a lake on an air mattress. I was going to do it over the winter, but after falling out of my canoe, I decided that taking an air mattress out in the middle of a lake or a pond in the middle of the winter probably wasn't the best idea. So I decided to go ahead and wait on that. So I'll probably be doing that in the coming weeks. Also, another thing that I've been wanting to do for years that I finally actually have a plan to do is a 24 hour fishing challenge. I'm gonna go out for 24 hours, all 24, not, you know, sleep for eight, fish for two or three hours, no. From hour one to hour 24, I will be fishing and I'm gonna see how many fish I can catch. And I might incorporate some kind of giveaway into that as I'm coming up on 3000 subscribers as I'm recording this video. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, but expect that to come out maybe mid June to early July. I, I, I don't really know, but it is something that I do wanna do. And also if you've been around for long enough and you know me a little bit more now, you know that I have plans to film amazing videos. I've got tons of ideas and I get ready to film them and I do film them. And then I put them on the back burner to film more amazing videos, but I never get around to editing them. For example, back in March, I went to Choke Canyon and I have a bunch of fishing footage from it. And I was gonna make it into a really cinematic video. And here we are in mid-May and I still haven't touched it. So, so I have a lot of content that is already filmed that I need to go ahead and edit, but I just haven't done it yet. But I will soon, no promises. Man, this video is just all over the place now. So I think on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and close off today's video. Uh, again, if you made it to this point, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for the support. It really does mean a lot. I'm coming up on 3000 subscribers and I've never grown this much on YouTube before. So I'm, I'm really pumped to see what happens here in the next few weeks and months. And if you are new and you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of the new videos that I've hinted at in the last few minutes. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next episode of Fishing with James. I'm not a